people mess up. And I know there are people out there who are just like, you know, I'm not going to forgive anything. Only God forgives, not me. What a miserable person you are. Because that, that, and I'm not saying you should forgive everything. You know what I mean? If Hitler shows up, he's like, ah, I messed up. What do you want from me? <laughs> you know, there's some accountability that's there. Of course. And, but, but people mess up, but we, have to be, we should be understanding of why that happened. Why? Because people are suffering. And a lot of the bad decisions that you're going to make in life are going to be because of that thing of suffering. That's why I talk about it so much, because it's such an important concept, how it is that you face the suffering. Because I don't know if I've mentioned this before to you, but life is suffering. <laughs> it's ineradicable. You, how, but how, so my, and I keep mentioning it because it's such a big part of your life that how you face it is going to determine so much of your life. Do you shrink from it? Do you engage it? Because most of the bad decisions that we make in life are going to be to alleviate suffering. I don't want to get caught. For, I did something bad, so I chose the wrong path. I chose the unvirtuous path. And now, in order to avoid the suffering, to avoid the consequence of that path, I now have to lie. So now I have to compromise my character even more, and then to cover up that lie, and now you've got this big web of things, and you can get to a point in life where you sit back and go, how the hell did I get here? This is so complicated. You have to engage the suffering. But understand that the suffering is happening because you're trying to avoid an unvirtuous action. What that means, therefore, is that everybody else is doing the same thing, too. The reason that people are lying to you is because they're trying to avoid some level of suffering. They're trying to avoid some level of suffering. The reason that people are doing these things is because they're trying to avoid suffering. And that doesn't mean that we totally forgive it, but hopefully that means that we totally understand it. We can relate to it. We can empathize with it. And if we can empathize with it, we can be forgiving towards it. If we can be forgiving towards it, we can show people that it's okay to behave properly. It's okay to tell me the truth. So you're in a perpetuous cycle of the world being bad. And probably still be that person who complains about the world. Man, we don't deserve dogs. <laughs> Many people don't. But that doesn't mean you can't. It doesn't mean you can't. That's part of grace. Being able to turn around at any moment to change from what you're doing. To embrace the suffering. Because if you don't embrace the suffering, it's going to lead you to some bad decisions in life. It doesn't mean you have to like it. It doesn't mean you should, fight, you should face it. And if you can... Employ that monster inside of you to face it even better. But it's just as much a part of life as fate and death. So find your meaning in suffering. If there's a meaning, you can create it, whatever it is. Create it for yourself, authentic.